Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with Alien Skin Software. If you've used Exposure 7, then you know the power of using the sweet looking effects from the overlays panel. If you want to go beyond built in overlays, you can add your own. This video will show you all about it. We'll talk about how to import your own overlays, learn about the different types of them, and we'll discuss the modes and what they do. Like always, I'll give you loads of helpful tips along the way, so buckle your safety belts and get ready for an intense ride. First stop, how to import. You can use your own texture images, such as detail shots of concrete, peeling paint, newsprint, or scans from slides. There are plenty of websites that offer packs of free textures, and they're not hard to find. You can even create a watermark if you'd like. It's a simple process to start using your own texture files in Exposure. Just open up the Overlays panel and click on one of the thumbnails. Then the Import button can be found on the bottom of the flyout pane. Take note of the Auto Rotate option. It can come in handy. File types supported for overlays are JPEGs and TIFFs. Gradients and soft textures are extremely forgiving, so a few thousand pixels is plenty of data. You can use larger images, like 3000 pixels on the long side, but that's enough info for an 8x10. Keep that in mind. Adding huge texture images is a little silly. You really don't need that much data. They automatically stretch to fit the images you're editing, so remember that when you're making them. It's especially important when you're using something with recognizable shapes, like text. The differences between the types of overlays are pretty simple. Borders don't have an opacity control, nor do they use the Protect Location tool. If you're using a watermark as an overlay, I'd put it in here. It allows you to place it with opacity instead of a blend mode, so it looks however you made it to look. Light effects and textures do basically the same operation. Personally, I like to keep my effects separate, so I'll put anything that resembles a lighting effect in, you guessed it, light effects. Everything else goes in textures. You may want to duplicate your favorite textures here, should you want to use multiple texture overlays. Let's talk about modes. These are similar to how things work in Photoshop, so if they make sense to you, have at it. Mathematical equations don't really get my fires burning, so I'll demo how they work for all of you visual learners like me. First modes on the list are Multiply and Screen. They are almost exactly the same in behavior, but in opposite ways. In a nutshell, Multiply Mode darkens images. It's great for creating shadows and removing bright spots while keeping the darks intact. Brighter pixels in the overlay will not be blended with the image. Screen is the sister mode to Multiply. It's the exact opposite, so it's a great choice for making blacks disappear while maintaining the light values. Light effect overlays are good examples of screen mode so the effects aren't pronounced when used on lighter images. Darker pixels in the overlay will not be blended with your image. Overlay and hard light modes are related as well. Overlay mode is a contrast booster. It uses a combination of screen mode for the lighter parts of the image and multiply mode for darker areas. Middle tones using this mode become transparent, so the closer the value is to 50% gray, the less of the effect you will see. The easiest way to explain hard light mode is with regard to layer order. Let's call the image you're working on layer A, and we'll call the overlay image layer B. If you apply B to A using overlay mode, the contrast in layer A is increased by the values in layer B. Hard light mode is the same function as overlay mode, but in the opposite order. It produces the same result as applying A to be in overlay mode. If you import your own textures into Exposure, you can use them in custom presets for simple one-click use. Presets are super handy for when you have a specific look in mind, or if you've made up a custom look that includes a watermark for a social media sneak peek. If saving time is important for your workflow, take advantage of presets. And that's about all I have for this video. We've covered a lot of ground. Hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use the overlays to build the looks you're after, how to import your own textures, and how the different blend modes work. Thanks for watching everyone.